Hello there, YouTube. Hey, hey. So, here's a question. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who is the other person down the road? Who is the co-worker at work? Who is the stranger on the internet? Who are we? Who do you want people to see? I ask this because what we do gives other people an idea of what we like and who we love and things that we're willing to do. So if I go to work and I start dropping F-bombs at work and I'm cursing, that sends a message to other people that may not even be in the conversation that, hey, this guy likes to curse. And he gets angry a lot. And if I go to work and I'm wearing my cross and I'm treating people with kindness and respect and I'm talking about the Lord, people will look and say, this person's a Christian who's not going to be interested in drinking and drugs and partying. So therefore, they're not even going to approach me with that because it's not what I'm interested in. If I go to work and I start talking sexual and talk, making cracking jokes about sex and stuff and things that are not appropriate, the word's going to get around that, hey, Chris likes to talk about that stuff. Maybe Chris likes to do that stuff. And see, that invites trouble. Because who we are in our heart has to match up with who we want to be. And who we are in our mind connects to who we are in our heart. So, if in my heart I want to honor God and I want to treat people right, then I need to send out those messages to people, if you will. I need to send out the signs that would let people know that that's who I am really in my heart. Now, there might be certain days where I feel like just being angry or feel like I want to tell people something. If I go and do that, what message does that send? I mean, think about it for a minute. So ask yourself, who are you really in your heart? Who do you want people to see? Do you want people to see someone who cares about others, likes to help others, who's talented, who loves the Lord, loves God? Or do you want people to see somebody who they think they can get to do bad things? Because it's all about the messages that we send. It's a call to look at how we behave and how we act. Are we going to be perfect? No. But the Bible says that if we plant seeds of hate or seeds of anger, then what kind of people are we going to attract? Other hateful and angry people. And we will attract hate and anger in our lives. But if we're planting seeds, in other words, is how we act and what we say and what we do, of love and caring and respect, then that's a lot of what we're going to get back. People are going to treat us the way that we send a message that we want to be treated. So if people think that I want to sin and I want to smoke dope and have sex and go to parties, if I'm talking about that stuff or I'm making people think that I'm like that, then what kind of people am I going to attract in my life? Those kind of people. So we have to be real careful about how we act, what we say to people, what we do, because we're going to invite trouble to our lives. Now we can invite good people to our lives, 
or we can invite trouble to our lives. If you ask me, I'd like to invite good people. Invite peace. Life can be crazy enough as it is. The last thing we need is more trouble. And people thinking that we're bad when we're actually trying to be good. So it's something to think about. And I thought to do this video because on the internet people can be fake. Most people are fake. They try to make people think that they're a certain way when they're, they know they shouldn't be or they're not. And that's going to invite trouble to them. And as Christians, we need to represent who we love. If we love God, if we love people, then we need to represent that. Because there's way too many hypocrites out there. There's way too many people that I talk to that say they don't want to believe in God and they don't want to go to church because they've been treated bad by Christians. Now, we're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes. And when we make a mistake, we own up to it. We work on it. And we aim to not do it again. If we do it again, we, we keep working on it. We don't give up. But you yell at somebody, you get mad. Listen, when you calm down, apologize. Say, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. Can you forgive me? And I'm going to work on that so I don't get angry and yell at you again. It's a good example. But let's think about who we want to be, who we feel like we are, and what kind of people we want to have in our lives. And then hopefully what we can do is impact a lot of lives in a positive way, in a good way, and make a difference in our little world, the people around us. And you know, a lot of acts of kindness go a long way. There's a ripple effect. I do one nice thing for you, you end up doing something nice for somebody else, they do something nice for someone else, and it keeps going. But the same thing happens with bad stuff. If I do something bad to somebody that makes them angry and upset, and then they go to work, and they're angry and upset at somebody else, and that person gets angry and upset, and it keeps going. So what kind of rocks do we want to throw in the water for the ripple? Good ones or bad ones? My prayer is that we'll throw good ones. And just a side note, there's videos out there about the rapture apparently happening in July. Bogus! God bless you guys. Take care.